Oh, what's up? <laughs> hey, Facebook. So, don't even watch this video because it might not be for you. If it is for you, then thanks for being here and I'm really glad you're here. My kids are up, so that means I'm gonna do something live. The reason I'm doing Facebook Live is because it's easier to save your videos here and they save them to your camera roll. So that means it's a lot easier for me to share between platforms. So I can take this video and save it here and say, hey, Instagram. See, I, I could edit it if I wanted to. I'm not going to. So, hey, Facebook. Hey, Instagram. Hey, YouTube. What's going on? Um, whatever. So my kids are up and I just want to play music. Someone's there. Thanks for being here, whoever you are. And um, it's not my mom because she doesn't have Facebook. Hey, Laura, what's up? This girl's tough. Um, sweetie pie, schlechten, that's German. It's just like, but, you know, <laughs> heart of gold, like tough as nails with a heart of gold. And anyway, so um, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to play some live music. I have no idea what's going to happen. Hey, JC. Oh my God. It's like the whole wiki whack crew. Wiki whack. Oh, how do we do that? Oh, no, because we've got to be careful. Like wiki whack. All right. So, um, getting that W today. Cause every day you wake up and you have the choice to win. Right. Um, I'm not going to do the Charlie Sheen thing. Cause, mm. uh, anyway, so yeah, you wake up every day and yesterday happened. If it was good, great. If it's not, whatever. Um, you get to make a choice how you live your day. I'm in the evening. So, I'm making, look at the, the, the ISO, like, there's, well, the skies are overcast, you can see that, the greens, like, oh my god, oh, the, the greens in Germany, it's like, just, it's, we're fully in spring now, and I'm inside, so, I'm gonna shut these doors, should probably go get a glass of water, in case I, oh, look at that, oh, ooh, look at that, like, that's not a filter, that's just natural lighting, looking grainy, ooh. Harvard on the Hill, that's right. That's what they used to call Kelly Walsh, or they call Kelly Walsh uh, and Casper. Because that's where all the, like, better situated kids went, I guess. Um, oh, Spartans. Yeah, what are they now? They're, they're not the Spartans, they're the um, Mustangs. The Mustangs. Because it's Wyoming and whatever. I mean... And got the T-Birds, the Mustangs, the Generals up in Sheridan, the Pioneers in Powell, I think. Mm. So here's my cup. Can we see that? Mystic Monks up in Story, Wyoming. Uh-huh. Yeah, the Mustangs. Yeah. Um, which is fine, I guess. I don't really care because, like, seriously, um, I, I went to games because I had just got out of, out of high school and it was sort of like, well, you go to games. And we always saw the basketball players, because we didn't have football, and they'd sit at their own table, and they'd have their girlfriends, and it was sort of, like, funny like that. Um, hey, Donna. Um, and it was just sort of, I hope all those guys are doing great, you know? And, like, the only black people at school, except for my buddy Paul, who's actually from Africa, and my fraternity brother at UW, who, you know, transferred a year after me, um, it's like, well, we're pretty much basketball players. Uh, nothing wrong with it. It's just, it was just, it was so darn obvious. It was, it was like, we all came from Utah or had that one guy from California that went to like a third rate California school. Not naming names. I don't even have a name for it, but it was just sort of like this. When McDonald's opened up in Thermopolis, there was this guy, uh, who, the, the, the man who opened it up, he was a, a black gentleman. And our varsity basketball coach made the joke at the grand opening because his wife was pregnant or had just had her child. Oh, well, I'm going to have a good, good basketball player in 15 years. And that must have been like 1992. So, hey, Wyoming, we're not racist. Uh, well, that was casual racism, racism of the 90s. Um, there was nothing mean by any means, meant by any of that, but it was just, looking back on it, you just sort of think like, oh, we have a big 
big snob. Yeah, no, I live in Berlin and we actually have healthcare here and we pay our taxes for it. I pay like 30% of my, ta my you know, uh, gross income to taxes and that 30% takes care of healthcare, um, social security, uh, what do we call it? Um, when, joblessness, welfare, whatever, like, um, all of it, it's, it's in there. So it, it's, it's a percent thing. If everybody pays the same percentages, then everybody pays less. It's pretty cool. That's what Obama was trying to do. Hillary was not really good at communicating anything. Whatever. I'm not going to get on that. Lent is over so I can talk about politics. I'm not going, I want to play music. So love you guys. I'm really impressed with who's here. It might just be us three. Doesn't matter if you're playing for three or 300 or 3,000, I've done it all. Uh, my piano's on. The kids are awake. They like my voice. Tee. So, I guess I, look at this. Anyway, this is my piano. C major. Here's middle C. Here is the first Try you know, first third above it, major third. And here's the fifth to C. Or if we go from the C major, from the C to the E, major third, and a minor third between the right? We have a C major chord. So I taught today. I'm going to be teaching two weeks, or uh, two weeks, uh, two hours a week uh, over the next, at least the next week, and maybe, because school's starting to back up in Berlin, because we flattened the curve like seven weeks ago. Uh, our sixth graders are coming in. I'm at an elementary school, and we need to get them ready for seventh grade. We'll bring them in first. I have two hours of study hall. Uh, we have classes normally between 22 and 26 kids, so we'll split them up into two groups. And I do two hours of study hall on Thursdays. That's it. We're hoping to get our fifth graders in in two weeks. It's not going to happen. Uh, but I'm still getting paid fully. song. I mean, nothing against the carpenters, but why do birds suddenly appear? I don't want to get that topical. Um, let's do something completely different. And now it's time for something completely different. How nice it is.
never been here before. We don't know how it bleeds. So all we can do is all together. Stay away from your neighbor without reaching out that hand. Go next door, say hello after knocking on the door and taking two steps away to be safe. You can just run down the store. more and stay at least five feet away. It's a weird ass time I'm singing some sort of country ballad. What should this be? I don't know. But I think I care about my own They go by their beer. Oh, why, oh, mean home. You'll always have my heart where it's safe to go outside and you can even drink a beer and find. Oh, my own, my own at home. Want to see you again real soon. So just please stay home. And only gotta do what you gotta do. Where are we? Where have we been? Where are we? Where are we going? strange times there's little things you can do you can still show people love and share a smile or two well wasn't that precious thank you very much for being here that was just sort of whatever i wanted to play a song today and get something out of me and um hey my wife's watching so yeah that's like we're not social distancing within our family, but yeah, you know, this is the new world. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's right, JC. Um, Wyoming is just, it's, it's, it's so white, it's so privileged. Like, I, to maybe Laura take that topic, like, I graduated from UW and went off to West Virginia to sell books. Um, whatever southwestern company great place learn how to work for yourself and take care but that's when i really saw poverty like i really saw john denver didn't lie those country roads are beautiful but man there were people up there living between the haulers and they thought they they like they, they, they thought they lived in the mountains and they lived like mountain people and play their old fiddles and they had their kids running barefoot and like nothing gets nakedness but just dirty as all sin uh, with Kool-Aid stains on their lips, you'd come into their houses, they couldn't afford a double wide, but they had Budweiser in their fridge, and like, and all the mines were shut down, like, you turn on the radio, and it didn't matter what station you were on, and Kentucky's no different, I mean, like, this whole, it's not a stereotype, man, like, it's, seriously, it's, it's and, it was like, Eye-opening. It was just eye-opening. The salt of the earth. The salt. The people were so wonderful. They would give you the shirt off their back. They were there for you, and they would, you know, and they realized their kids needed education. 
and I was selling books, like educational books, and that's fine. It's a tough sell. Um, and they're like, oh, we really like you, and we, we would love to buy your books, but we don't have any money for it right now. And it's like, well, you just gave me a Coke. You didn't give me a Shasta or a Fago, whatever they drink out there. I don't know. Shasta's West, Fago's Midwest. I don't know what they drink over there. Um, and salt of the earth, uh, good people. But if you put too much salt on the earth, uh, that's a good way to kill it and dry it out. So, uh, those coal mines. I mean, was it Loretta Lynn or Crystal Gill singing about being a coal miner's daughter way back in the 60s? And I was there in 2003. Sip, that's the red beer. Um, all right, guys. Everyone out there, uh, nothing against West Virginia. I loved it. And my daughter's going to play for you a little bit for my outro. All right, you play my outro. I'm going to put on vibraphone so it sounds, you know, special. I think, oh, there it is. So. So. Elvie's playing the outro. Uh, guys, really, just take care. Be thankful for what you got. I'm happy that we can go back to work. Loretta Lynn. Thanks, Donna. And thanks, Laura. Yeah. Oh, Mountain Dew. And I drove up some weird roads into the hills and ran into a steel or two, which is great. Like, my wife comes from a part of Germany where they still have their brew their, you know, distill their own liquor, and we get it for Christmas and throughout the year, and have a sip or two. So guys, yeah, seriously, I mean, just I'm very thankful for what I have. I have a lot. Uh, life isn't perfect. It never will be. Change is a constant. Um, really, just stay motivated, stay positive. Be thankful for what you have. Uh, love the people around you. Uh, I'm so thankful for my family in this time because I'm not alone. Um, I was actually alone today for the first time in like seven weeks because I had to do work for school at home. My wife had to go into work. And we had to take our kids to daycare. And I'm so glad that we pay for that with our taxes in Germany. So we could do that. And I could get, we could both get a lot of work done. Um, but I almost felt lonely. Almost, like for a second. <laughs> but no, guys, uh, really. Um, so really just take care. Be thankful. Um, uh, love the runs around you. And just take care. And God bless. All right. I'll see you around. Facebook. Thanks for being here. It's going up on Instagram. It's going up on YouTube. All right. Love you guys.